So then, let's, let's say we would do a problem. Let's say we have some system like this. Okay. Let's say in here uh, we have T goes from uh, you are medium or oh hi welcome you can stand for a moment till we just a question yeah maybe we'll find a more comfortable place later okay so T uh, let's say do you want a hard one or easy one easy setup medium setup medium medium well, let's do a medium setup let's say temperature goes from minus ten to uh, 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is a temperature change. And let's say there's a reaction, R goes to P, that occurs to allow that to happen. So in here somewhere, a reaction is occurring. This is exothermic. Okay, so we're just setting up a problem. So let's say in the system, we've got a reaction happening, and this is all happens in water. Is that okay? So let's say, just sample, we'll set it up and kind of see how it works. Okay? So how would the setup go for this kind of problem? So what you're looking for, anything that changes temperature, and you're looking for any H's. Okay? All right. So let's try this. We're going to say sum of the Q's equals zero. Now we have to figure out all Q's. Hi, welcome. We'll move to a bigger place in a little bit as soon as I finish this question. Okay, so what's all the Q's that could be? Well, first you ask yourself, is there anything that changed temperature? Well, I gave that one to you, right? This whole thing I told you changes temperature. So the box the container. Okay, so there's a Q of container. I'll write that one down. The container warms up. Is that okay? The water, it's going to warm up. Is that okay? So there's a Q water. What do you notice about the temperature, though? What's water like right here? Yeah, it's ice. So there's actually a couple, two pieces here you have to watch out for. Some, you're going to have ice, right, at minus 10. And it's going to melt where? It's going to melt, well, first it's going to start melting at zero degrees C. That's the melt. Is that okay? And then it's going to warm up to water, liquid water at, in this case, 25 degrees C. Okay? So there's actually Q of water, that's this one, warming up. Is that okay? There's going to be a Q of ice, because the ice warms up. Still ice here. Do you know why we have to separate these two Q terms? They have to be different. It, Phase change, yes, is part of the reason. Does it also have a different uh, uh, CSP? You got it. The, the specific heat of water and ice are different. So if you made this one Q term, you wouldn't know where to put the specific heat. That's the C term right here. Does that make sense? So different phases must have different Qs. Okay? What's this? This is going to be a delta H of a phase change. Okay? So, this occurring gives us another Q. <laughs> so, so far we're up to four. A Q of phase change. Basically, ice melting to water. There is one more Q. What's that? We got the temperature oh. for this, the ice warming up, and we got the temperature for the water warming up. Is the water like what's inside the container? Or? Yeah, water's inside the container. Okay. 
you need a delta H for a reaction. There's a reaction. Is that okay? If there's a reaction occurring, you got Q reaction. Oh, yeah. You gotta put it in there, so you gotta remember it. I always have to think. Everything that has a temperature change has to have a Q. In this case, there were three things. The container will warm up. It's not gonna change phases. The water warms from 0 to 25. The ice warms from minus 10 to 0. Okay, those are all temperature changes. Then you go, are there any enthalpy changes? Either from a solution mixing, haven't seen that yet, it will see it in this chapter. Reaction or a phase change. There was a reaction, it's exothermic, delta H is going to be negative. And for the phase change, it's going to be a phase change of melting. Okay? So that's just the setup. Okay? If we had numbers, I just made it up, but if we had numbers, we put the numbers in and solve for whatever they asked for. Does that kind of make sense, how we do those? And if you could do a problem like this, you do pretty much anything. This would be as difficult as it would possibly come.